Hello everyone, this is Siddharthan. In this machine learning course, in the previous module, we have discussed about the basic concepts of machine learning and in this module, we are going to discuss about the Python basics required for machine learning projects. Okay, so from now on, most of the videos will be hands on and I suggest that you practice all these codes once you watch the videos, which helps you to understand the concepts and programs better. Okay, so in this video, I will give you a demo on how to use Google Colab. So we will be doing most of our Python programming in Google Collaboratory. So you don't need to install any software separately and you don't need to install any libraries separately. Okay, you just need to have Google Chrome and a Google account. So let me show you from the start. So search for Google Colab. So this is the site collab.research.google.com. From here, you can select new notebook. Okay. So this is the interface. You can change the name here. I'll name this as Google Collab Basics. Okay, so as you can see the extension of the file here as I P Y N B. So P Y N B represents Python notebooks. Okay, so you can go ahead and connect here. So basically what happens is we will be allocated a runtime where this environment will be connected to a backend server of Google. Okay, so in that server we can run Python programs. So this gives us the specification of the RAM and the disk we are allocated. So the RAM we have is about 12 GB and the disk size is around 100 GB, which is really good. Okay, so this is a completely a cloud based environment. And uh, now let me explain you some features of this inter interface. So this is called as a cell and we can write Python script in the in these cells. Okay, so in this uh, collab, instead of you know running python programs you can also run some unix command it's just like running a command in your command prompt in your computer okay so let's write a command now to check the specification of our system so exclamatory mark cat so when you put this exclamation symbol here the system understand this as a command as a unix command specifically so cat slash proc slash cpu info okay so this is a unix command to check the cpu information of our system okay so you can click this to run this cells to execute the cells or you can press shift plus enter to complete this uh, cell and go to next cell okay so this gives the output representing about the information of the CPU. So you can see all those informations here. So basically we have been allocated a two core system consisting of two processors. So this is the specification of one processor and this is the specification of other processor. So we have already checked the RAM here, RAM and the storage size. Now let's see how we can check the details of our RAM. Okay. So again, we need to run a Unix command. Cat slash proc slash info. So this gives the information about the memory, which is the RAM. So as you can see here, the RAM is almost 13 GB and all the other details. So you can go through this about what these details are. Okay. So basically we can run Python codes or we can run Unix command to, you know, check some system information or to install some uh, libraries in this. Okay. So as you can see this options here, files. So you can click this. Here we can upload some files that we need to work on. Okay, so you can right click here or you can click this upload option to upload a file. So let me upload some file here. So, so we have this sonar data file. So we have worked on this project in one of the previous videos. So this uploaded the file here. So when you click this, you can see a preview of this file here. So you can run a text file, a Excel file or any file you want. So this is a CSV file. So you can see the preview of the file here. So like if you want to work on some files in Google Collab in Python, so you need to upload the file here. 
and you can access the file from this uh, cells okay so through this option you can mount your google drive okay so why this is is basically to access the files in your google drive account okay so you can directly access the files from here and do some processing on it okay so in order to check what are the files are there in this environment you can use the command ls okay so this list all the files and folders that are present in this environment so as it says it contains sample data and sonar data dot csv so as we see here these are the files we have in this environment in this runtime okay so like this you can run several unix command in google collab okay you can also create text okay so so if you give this code it will create a code cell if you click this text a text cell will be created where you can write some comments and uh, you know information about what these cells represents okay so let me put this as specification of the systems shift plus enter so you can click this or you can press shift plus enter so this is to write some comment or text now let's try to run some python programs so let me print something so like in c we use printf and in python the function is print okay so we need to enclose the text in a in a quotes let me print machine learning so this is how we have to write the python script in these cells so you can click here or you can press control plus enter or shift plus enter to run this cell and automatically go to next cell so i'll press shift plus enter so this prints the text inside this uh, brackets okay so now let's see how we can install some libraries in python okay so in machine learning we need to use several libraries like numpy pandas scikit-learn etc okay so most of the libraries will be pre-installed in google collaboratory so if you are installing a separate software like spider or pycharm you need to download and install these so in these libraries separately which is a hectic process so that is one of the main advantages of using google collaboratory so how we can install python so sorry python libraries so you need to give the exclamatory mark let's say we need to install the library pandas so pandas is uh, a library which is mainly used for data processing uh, steps so to know that command you just need to type pandas so pandas is the library we need to install so pandas pypa so pypa represents python package index okay so as you can see here when you click this you can see the command we need to give in the command prompt or any other you know basically command systems to download and install this this library so i'll copy this command which says pip install pandas and uh, as we are running a command we should proceed it by exclamatory mark okay i'll paste this here so as i told earlier pandas is already pre-installed in this collaboratory so as you can see here it says requirement already satisfied so basically if you want to install some libraries which are not installed in in collaboratory you can just search the library name with pypa index and you can get this pip install name and you can give this with exclamatory mark and that installs that respective library in your collaboratory environment okay so this is how you can download several libraries and install them now if you want to import this pandas we can give import pandas as pd okay so this will import the pandas library so this is how you write python scripts here and uh, apart from this these are some examples of unix command where you can run some unix command to work some system functions like downloading a library so seeing some system information and all that okay so as i told earlier so most of the python programs we will be doing will be on google collaboratory and uh, you try to run these basic commands and try to get the all the options we have in collaboratory so that's it for this video in the next video we shall discuss about some python basics some python programs like for example the data types and for loops and other things okay so the next video will be posted on wednesday evening so stay tuned and thanks for watching